I'm going to call the meeting of the Erie County Industrial Development Agency to order. And uh, is the secretary able? Yes. Okay. Yes. Did the secretary read off the names of the members to see and ensure that we have a quorum? The decorum will be that 
it can't be immediately at the stage. It has to be back, say, the first row or so. And so if you would take a seat in the first row, that would be fine. But you have to take your seat, too. We don't want anybody you know, standing yeah, yeah. up in order to do that. I think that's reasonable, and uh, I hope that we can proceed very, very reasonably. With that, uh, let me ask if uh, anyone uh, wants to make a motion for the approval of the minutes of the March 26th, 2012 meeting of our membership. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion of uh, the minutes? All right, there are no board members who have any discussion of the minutes. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. No. Or no, no. I direct the secretary to receive and file the minutes. <coughs> Mr. Shopik, uh, let me ask you to present a financial report. Thank you. On page 10, you'll see the financial report of March for the ECIDA. Overall, the ECIDA had a net loss in the month of approximately $88,000. It was $63,000 behind budget. The prime reason for that loss was administrative fees for $71,791 behind budget. And as I mentioned a number of times in previous meetings, ECIDA's fees do fluctuate on a monthly basis, which explains why we have uh, a low month this month. But we did start the year with two very solid months, and as a result, you will see on a year to date uh, that we are ahead of budget on a year to date basis. Salaries and benefits you'll see is behind budget or in a positive way, partly because we have one employee on medical leave for the entire month of March. You also note that travel mileage and meeting expenses is ahead of budget. During the month, we sponsored two small business development conferences. One was a UB Venture Forum to assist early stage companies find investors. And the second was a small business administration development conference known as Straight Talk that helps small businesses develop and grow their business. On page 11, you'll see the year-to-date results, as I mentioned, we are ahead on a year-to-date basis with administrative fees $108,000 above budget, and overall the net income is $126,651, which is also an excessive budget. If there's any questions, I'd be happy to take Does any member of the board have any questions they would like to ask Mr. Schobeck or any comments they would like to make regarding this presentation? Hearing none, I uh, direct the secretary to receive and file the report. Um, Mr. Coppola and Mr. Manhart, um, can you discuss the closing schedule and the backlog report uh, if any? And also, uh, the RDC mode status. Hi, good morning. Um, here on page 12, listing of the projects. This is Mr. Manhart. Um, on page 12, the amount of projects here today that, the, that we've been entertained so far, there's been eight projects totaling $77 million, well, $77 million during the 12. We filed 499 jobs, and we checked with the 509 in year two. And if you go to page 13, uh, the backlog of bonds that were from year to date through April 1st. And it totals 171 million. And the bonds that uh, are that have been approved and closed in the last 12 months is 116.1 million dollars. So we're doing very well this year. Questions there? Um, are there any questions thus far? On page 14, uh, the loan status report uh, through April 10th, there were no loans that have been closed within the last 30 days um, or approved, but we do have a few exciting things going on, and uh, we have uh, loans closing 
that are in process right now, Alliance and Factory is kind of a nice manufacturer of buying some really nice pieces of equipment. It's going to really put them on the national forefront as far as um, a tool and die manufacturer and being able to take you know, pieces of basically steel, and you know, about a million, uh, or not a million, I'm sorry, about two tons, three tons worth, you convert them to various. Uh, Various things for the automotive industry and, and all different types of industries, so we're very excited about that one. United Graphics is also another great manufacturer, and we're looking for them to close. We're hoping this month, and they're a big great manufacturer. It's going to be able to some state of the art equipment, and it will allow them to be very successful in the future to come. And lastly, our loans in the pipeline, we have a few. We have a few maybe small manufacturers who really have a variety, quite a mix uh, of them. Um, as you can see, we have. Uh, now you're saying the pipeline. Can you explain what you mean by I'm that? I'm sorry, the pipeline means that we do have applications and we are currently entertaining them. So that's what we are looking to do is uh, get them approved and, and, and get them scheduled for closing right now. But sometimes we get them in, we need various other pieces of information for them to make a thorough decision on whether to move forward with the project. Um, if anybody really has any questions about anything. Does anyone have any questions about uh, any of the projects that we closed or any member of the board has a question? Uh, I direct the secretary to receive and file the report. Mr. Halton, uh, can you give us an update on the nominating committee's uh, actions? Yes, good morning, Mr. Chair. Um, before you are on page 15, 16, and 17, uh, the, is the nominated slate that was reviewed and approved by the nominating committee last week. Uh, several points of significance that uh, indicate we are changing our structure considerably. Last year, there were five corporations listed on this sheet. This year, there are three. It's the CIDA, the Lending Corporation, ILDC, which is the on behalf of issuer of tax exempt bonds uh, for not for profits. Uh, the executive committee is being expanded by one person, uh, so there's an additional slot there. In general, other than that, we also have put an asterisk in. The bylaws, uh, for example, I'll give you a, if you look at the governance committee. The bylaws state that at least two members uh, specified in the bylaws must be on the committee. Well, we put an asterisk next to Mr. Duffy's name and Mr. Uh, Eddie Jean Grant's name. The uh, same thing is true of the Finance and Audit Committee. At least three members of the board will serve on that committee. Mr. Johnston, Mr. Alsenbeck, and Mr. Dr. Rudnick are each asterisk. Uh, that would indicate that if they were to stop being in the board for some reason, they would have to necessarily be about the successor. The second page contains the uh, remainder of the slate, plus the um, officers from the corporation. That's page 16. At the moment, the investment review committee is being uh, held open for a total of seven positions. Uh, that will be for discussion at a later time. Uh, chair, the vice chair uh, is now Mr. Johnston as on the nominating site. Uh, there is no CEO, and the remainder of the staff are pretty much as they were before, except Mr. Manhart and Ms. Carpenter are being recommended to be named assistant treasurers uh, since their predecessors were both assistant treasurers. Uh, the last page, page 17, just indicates for each board member the various assignments that they have on each unit. there are any questions, I'm happy to try to answer them. Are there any questions? Let me advise the members of the board that if at any time they have a desire to serve on a different or an additional committee, uh, they should be so advise me and certainly give it most serious consideration. On the other hand, we want to make sure that we're uh, not on so many committees that we can't really attend the meetings of those committees, too, uh, because attendance and participation is extremely important. Um, if there are no further questions or comments, 